Hi guys, uh, Glorious Egg Roll here, and I am on my framework laptop with a little. Uh, this is a. It might sound a little bit different. I'm using a different microphone plugged directly into this laptop. Uh, it's one that I just picked up that I use for travel, Chico Amazon one, but it works. Uh, anyway, the point of this video is. I wanted to, as you, as you guys know, last week I posted a video of a little startup script that I got working where it, if you had an NVIDIA card installed in your system and the drivers weren't installed, upon logging in, it would say, hey, you've got an NVIDIA driver. We're going to go ahead and install those for you. And so what I did is I took that and I ported it over to a USB detection script where it detects, you know, it runs a script again if it's an NVIDIA card, if it detects an NVIDIA card. Um, and the reason I did that for USB detection is because you want to be able to use it for eGPU devices, right? So I'm on my framework, I've got an eGPU. Uh, the only thing is in my eGPU setup, I actually have an AMD card. My NVIDIA card is still in my other rig. So I've modified the script just to check for Radeon instead of NVIDIA, but regardless, the point is it works and it's it's pretty awesome so let me just go ahead and show you guys how that's working I've got my plug here and you'll hear it when I plug it in and boop there's the sound it's detect the eGPU and it should pop up there it is okay so it gives us a little pop-up it tells us what our device is obviously like I said I've got it hacked to where it detects AMD, AMD instead of NVIDIA but it works we hit OK and just to show you guys, I don't have any NVIDIA uh, packages installed. RPM, QA, oops, grip, I, NVIDIA. Nothing, no NVIDIA drivers installed or anything like that, right? So let's go ahead and enter our password. And let it do its thing. This usually takes a little minute or two because it's got it's got like a handful of packages it has to install. And once it does this once, uh, the drivers are installed. It's not going to do it again. It does a kernel check, so I'll, um, or kernel driver check. I'll show you the script once I bring it up or once it finishes doing what it's doing. Actually, I suppose I can do that right now while we're waiting. Let's go. Let's make this bigger. And CD, Etsy, PyEDEV, Auto Detect. And here is the script that I wrote. Uh, this is just an extension of the one that I've already added for the, the login. And as you can see, it doesn't else. Once you. So this runs inside of another Python script. The Python script uses UDEV to detect when a USB device is plugged in. When the USB device is plugged in, it tries to run this script, and this script checks LSPCI to see if you have an NVIDIA GPU. In this case, we're grepping Radeon instead of NVIDIA, because like I said, I have a Radeon card. Um, and then if it is an NVIDIA GPU, it goes through the rest of the script, and if not, it just ignores it. And so let's say you know it picks up the NVIDIA GPU, and then here's where it checks for the kernel module. And it checks, you know, see if the kernel driver running is NVIDIA or not, and if it's not, then it goes and gives you your prompt that we just got. All right, and then we get that, and if I hit OK, it'll reboot. I'm not going to hit OK because then it'll end the uh, the video. But um, yeah, um, we actually can check here because now that it's already done that, we can show that the NVIDIA packages are installed. RPM, QA, rep, I, NVIDIA. And there they are. So everything NVIDIA related is installed. All we'd have to do is reboot and our system is good to go and our NVIDIA card works in our eGPU. So anyway, I was excited to show this off. I've been working on this on and off for like the last couple of uh, days or weeks or whatever. Um, as, you, as some of you guys might, may or may not know, uh, on Twitter I announced that I've started working on a little, uh, a little hobby side project. It's basically my own Fedora spin. Um, it's the, pro the, the problem with it is that it uses RPM Fusion repositories and copper repositories, so it doesn't exactly abide to Fedora's RPM repositories being disabled by default on installation. Uh, sorry, Fedora. 
uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll fix that. But for now, the whole point of my side distribution is that I want everything to be installed or detected and installed very easily upon the first installation. That way, people don't have problems that they always run into. Uh, one of the main things that two of the main things that they run into is one uh, wine wine dependencies. People try to run in, run games in in Linux and then they wonder why wine isn't running their their game. It's because well you don't have the wine dependencies installed and you need third party repositories in order to get those dependencies. So that's one thing it takes care of. And the second thing is Nvidia drivers. Nvidia drivers on every freaking single distro are just an absolute pain in the ass. They just it's just so it's such a convoluted mess and it's different on every distro. So I made this stupid thing where you can port it to pretty much any freaking distro you want. It's just Python scripts running and boom, it auto detects and installs the drivers and installs the packages that you need. That's it. It's really easy. Um, here, this is uh, da 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 pi u dev. I mean, this is just a very simple Python script that runs and you know it attaches to UDEV and text when something gets plugged in, and then it runs a script. And then when it runs a script, you just detect whether or not you want it to do something in the script. It's very easy. And the uh, the other script, it's the exact same thing. So this one, for now, I just I'll probably change this, but for now, I just have it added an Etsy profile. Exact same thing. This is the exact same NVIDIA script that I just moved over to my UDEV script. So it's it's really not that difficult. I don't know why this hasn't been done before. And obviously, like the only thing that you would need to change to port this to different OSs is the packages that you install. Like obviously, if you were running Debian, you wouldn't run a DNF command. But all it is, it's it's accepting sudo and using packages, and it's using Zenity, which comes on like every freaking distro. It's, it's so easy and stupid. I don't know why this hasn't been done yet. Makes people go, you know, around their ass to get to their elbow just to install NVIDIA drivers. Anyway, that's that's another side rant. Also, uh, completely unrelated, the Framework laptop is awesome and uh, the webcam on it is amazing. I'm like super surprised right now. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for popping in and dealing with my rant and me showing off all my fun stuff. I'll talk to you guys later.